What is up YouTube, my name is Ruben, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to land any BMX trick to your guys' desire. So, of course, I can't just give you guys some kind of spell or chant that you guys can just say and instantly be the next TV freaking Churchill, because that's just not possible, let's be real here. But I can give you guys some advice and tips that can basically speed up the process of you guys trying to land a trick and make it easier for you guys to achieve that. So let's get right into this. So tip number one is going to be to take your time and to not rush things. So pretty much, if you guys are trying, let's say, let's just use bar spins for an example throughout this video. So say you guys are trying bar spins um, and you guys go outside and you guys are throwing them, but you know, you keep on hurting yourself because you know, you're getting bar ends to the knees and I don't know, you're slipping pedals, getting chinners, whatever, you know, stuff that we all don't like. But you keep on trying for hours and hours because you're so determined to just land this trick, which is good that you're determined to try it. Um, but. If you guys keep on doing this, you guys are just going to injure yourself and then, you know, you might not be able to ride for a few weeks or even a few months if you seriously injure yourself. So, you know, just take your time, don't rush things because BMX is something that won't come overnight. I'm sure you guys have heard that before. You can't just go out and try a trick and instantly get it. So, you know, just know that it will take time. Um, and if you guys just go out and, you know, maybe try the, you know, try the trick in like half an hour periods or something. So, you know, just try bar spins for half an hour and, you know, just ride normally, do whatever, and try bar spins again for half an hour. You know, just do that every day, kind of just taking it kind of, you know, bit by bit and just not rushing through things and taking your time. Alright, so tip number two is going to be to kind of try the trick in the smaller steps first. So you guys are probably thinking what the hell does he mean by this, but again, using the bar spin as, a, as an example, um, before just going out and trying, you know, the whole hot bar spin, maybe just try pull up bars, you know, um, and try to get them dialed first. So that you guys are used to throwing and catching the bars and then maybe take them to fly out i didn't take them to fly i just tried them flat after learning pull up bar spins but you know whatever fits best for you guys but you know just try doing you know smaller kind of abbreviations of the trick um and just kind of take it in step by step instead of just going full swing into the proper trick same thing with you know i don't know 180s just maybe try you know 90s and just gradually get, you know chip around each degree until you guys are at that 180 degree mark because you know this can save you guys um, you know, just wasting your time trying the full trick and not really getting anywhere. But eventually you guys can just, you know, keep on chipping away, learning these, you know, abbreviations to the trick until you guys are there and you guys can try and land the full thing. Okay, so tip number three is to be safe when you're trying tricks. So honestly, with any trick, whether it be, you know, 180s, 360s, bar spins, whatever, just always, you know, make sure, you know, you guys have your helmet on or you guys have knee pads elbow pads even if you guys really want but you know just make sure that you guys are you know keeping yourself safe in the, in the best possible way um, to what you guys can now I didn't necessarily wear all the padding in the world when I was trying tricks but I kind of wish I had like I really wish I had knee pads when I was laying bar spins I cannot say that enough the amount of times that you know I got a bar in to the knee is crazy honestly it's like Oh my god, I got so many and honestly this knee was purple sometimes like and you know kind of getting swollen as well Like it was just outrageous. So, you know, of course when you guys are trying tricks Just be sure to be safe and wear protection Okay, so the fourth and final tip I can give you guys is to just put your mind to the trick and 100% commit to it So you guys have probably heard this before if you guys put your mind to anything you guys can achieve it and that is 120% true because honestly, if you guys just do commit to something and you do put your mind to it, you guys will achieve it and you know, in no time. So, you know, just whenever you guys are trying a trick and you guys are finding it hard, don't, you know, give up and just go, I'll just move on to something else. You know, stay fully committed with the trick. And you know, every time you guys try, put 120% effort into that trick because I trust you guys, you guys will get the outcome that you guys want. So yet again, I can't phrase enough, if you guys want to achieve something and you want to get something 100% commit to it and put your mind to it and it will come in no time. Alrighty guys, so that has been four I think things, um, bits of advice and tips that I've given you guys to basically help you guys land any trick you guys want. So these are just things you guys can apply to anything you guys are trying to land. It could be, you know, landing your first bar spin, landing your first uh, 180, landing your first 360, whatever, honestly, tail whips, I don't know. Um, but they're just a few tips that you guys can use 
um, and apply to your riding so that when you guys are trying the tricks, you guys can speed up the process and land them a lot quicker by, you know, just fully committing and, you know, going at the trick, you know, with all your effort and everything you can give. And yeah, basically just, you know, follow these steps. I'm sure you guys will have whatever trick you guys are trying down in a matter of however long it's gonna take you guys. Not long if you guys apply these. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Definitely hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're notified whenever a new video comes out. But you know, I'm trying to hit 500 subscribers very soon. Because early next year, I wanna be hitting, you know, the 1K mark, which would be absolutely amazing. So, if you guys do enjoy these videos, be sure to drop a subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.